As you gaze into the immeasurable darkness of space, and witness the shimmering ballet of distant stars, each one, a glowing question in the silence, you may feel the same timeless wonder that has stirred human thought for centuries. Are we truly alone in the vast, cosmic ocean? Now, a new eye has opened beyond our skies, a masterpiece of engineering placed gently into orbit, the James Webb Space Telescope. This marvel of modern science acts like a lens to the universe, a powerful magnifying glass capable of unveiling the intricate details of distant worlds, once veiled by cosmic dust and distance. Its latest focus? A planet far beyond the edge of our imagination, K218b. This enigmatic world has stirred the deepest curiosity among scientists. At first glance, it seemed just another speck in the stellar crowd but it harbors secrets that could change everything. Initial scans revealed something extraordinary, not only water vapor in its atmosphere, a tantalizing hint of habitability, but a molecule that raised deeper, more profound questions. A molecule associated with living systems on Earth. Could this be the breakthrough humanity has long awaited, the first real clue that we are not alone? In this journey, we dive deeper into the mysteries of K218b. A world that may redefine what we believe is possible. Join us as we explore a planet unlike any in our solar system. K218b lies about 120 light years away from us, nestled in the constellation Leo, circling a cool, red dwarf star known simply as K218. It belongs to a mysterious class of worlds, larger than Earth, yet smaller than Neptune. We call them sub-Neptunes, planets without a true counterpart in our own celestial neighborhood. This in-between status presents a challenge. They don't fit the mold of rocky planets like Earth or gas giants like Jupiter. They are alien in structure, strange, hybrid worlds that defy easy classification. Yet something about K218b draws scientists like gravity. Its orbit lies within the habitable zone of its parent star, that sweet band of space where liquid water might exist. But its orbit is close, only 0.18 astronomical units away, much nearer than Mercury is to our Sun. A year on K218b lasts just 13 Earth days. You might think such proximity would incinerate the planet, but its red dwarf star shines with gentle heat, far cooler than our own Sun. This balance has made the unthinkable possible, signs of vaporized water in the planet's atmosphere. This finding shook the scientific world. It suggested the presence of clouds, of rain, and perhaps, oceans. But water wasn't the only discovery. The JWST detected something else, something rare and deeply biological in implication. Methane. A molecule that, under stellar radiation, breaks down quickly, meaning it must be constantly replenished. Even more astonishing, it was found alongside carbon dioxide, suggesting complex chemical processes. But then came the most thrilling detection of all, dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, this molecule is only known to come from life, primarily from marine microorganisms in our oceans. To find such a compound orbiting a distant red dwarf star, that changed the conversation. It forced us to ask not if, but how such a world could support the chemistry of life. The answer may lie in its structure. If K218b has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, and retains enough pressure and temperature, it could house vast, warm oceans, different from Earth's, but still potentially life-sustaining. Recent theories have expanded this vision. A new class of exoplanets is emerging, worlds that don't fit the rocky or gaseous divide. They are being called, and covered in planet-wide oceans trapped beneath thick, hydrogen skies. Surface temperatures might reach 200 degrees Celsius, but under pressure, water remains liquid. These planets are not scorched deserts. They are steam-wrapped water worlds, with dense atmospheres that retain heat and protect complex molecules. On such worlds, life could arise in forms utterly alien to us, flourishing in depths lit not by sunlight, but by chemistry. K218b could be one of these Hycean planets. And it's now one of the prime candidates in the search for life beyond Earth. But detecting life across light years is no simple task. 
Even with the unmatched power of the JWST, astronomers had to wait for a rare event, a transit. This occurs when the planet passes directly in front of its star, allowing starlight to filter through its atmosphere. This light, once broken into its spectral colors, reveals a chemical fingerprint. If certain wavelengths are missing, they hint at specific molecules blocking that light. This technique, known as transmission spectroscopy, lets scientists piece together the atmospheric recipe of a distant world. And when they saw DMS, they knew they were seeing something no geology alone could explain. The story of K218b is far from over. It's not just a planet. It's a possibility that life may thrive in corners of the galaxy we never dared imagine. Worlds with skies of hydrogen. Oceans beneath alien clouds. And chemistry that whispers the language of biology. We stand at the threshold of a cosmic revelation. And this, this might be our first step into that greater story. But what if K218b is only the beginning? What if this distant, mist-shrouded world, bathed in the dim crimson glow of its red dwarf sun, is merely one chapter in a far larger cosmic story? Scientists now believe that Hycean worlds like K218b may be far more common than once thought. And with each discovery, we move one step closer to answering a question that has echoed through human consciousness for millennia. Are we truly alone? Thanks to the unmatched sensitivity of the James Webb Space Telescope, a new frontier has opened. Astronomers are not just looking for habitable planets anymore. They are listening for whispers of chemistry that speak of life. And on K218b, they may have heard something extraordinary. In the planet's atmosphere, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, was tentatively detected. On Earth, DMS is produced almost exclusively by marine microorganisms. Its presence would be nothing short of revolutionary. Because it doesn't just hint at biology. It hints at oceanic biology. Imagine a colossal, steaming sea. A vast, deep ocean wrapped in a thick atmosphere of hydrogen. The skies above are dark and heavy, painted in hues our eyes have never seen. Sunlight filters dimly through the haze. Beneath the waves, ancient microbial life, primitive, yet potent, thrives in an alien biochemistry. This is not Earth. But it might feel strangely familiar. The idea of Hycean worlds, a term born from the fusion of hydrogen, and ocean has given researchers a new framework. These worlds may not have solid surfaces. They may not have blue skies or green lands. But their oceans could be warm, stable, and rich in the building blocks of life. In fact, some models suggest Hycean planets may outnumber rocky Earth-like planets by a wide margin. And if they do, then life, if it exists, is not confined to Earth-like worlds. It could be swimming beneath alien oceans across the galaxy. But here lies the challenge. Even with a marvel like JWST, the signals are faint. They require patience, repetition, precision, and confirmation. Five hours of carefully planned observation yielded this first glimpse. But more will follow. Because in science, one signal is not enough. But many become a chorus.